Number 1. Place Nationale. Like all medieval Bastide towns Montauban has a central arcaded square, but this is one is far more ceremonious than usual. There are two layers of arcaded walkways beneath striking brick townhouses. The explanation for this is fire that destroyed the square's wooden houses in the 17th century. Number 2. Musée Angra. Towards the end of his life, the celebrated 19th-century painter Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres donated work and personal possessions to Montauban, the city of his birth. Eventually, the collection was moved into the city's 17th-century Episcopal Palace, with four floors dedicated to the work of Ingres, his students, art from the 15th to the 19th centuries. Number 3. Centre du Patrimoine. To really go into depth about the history and culture of Montauban, look no further than the old Jesuits' college on Rue du College. Centered on the courtyard are galleries and a resource center and, all set up with engaging contemporary design and museography. Number 4. Port Canal. The Canal de Montec is a short but sweet waterway linking the Tarn just south of Montauban with the Canal de Garonne, which in turn links the cities of Toulouse and Bordeaux. In the last few years Montauban has invested a lot in its port canal, installing new berths for boats and opening an activity center and a bar that puts on live music at night. Number 5. Tour of the Old Town. As you idle around the center of Montauban you'll get a sense of the town's singular architecture, which relies almost entirely on red bricks. This goes for its many neoclassical buildings, which combine bricks with stucco, and even have balustrades, arches, and statue pedestals made from bricks. Number 6. Pont View. In the 12th century Montauban was oppressed by the abbots of Montorial to the north, and won permission to build a fortified bridge to defend the city against them. These are the origins of the bridge across the Tarn into the old city, even if it wouldn't be completed for another 200 years. Number 7. Musée Victor. Montauban's natural history collection is on the first floor of this noble-looking palace on Place Antoine Bourdel. The neoclassical building warrants a mention because it used to be the Cour des Aides, the sovereign court during the Ancien Regime, concerned with public finance and customs. Number 8. Montauban Cathedral. Montauban is unusual as its cathedral isn't one of the blockbuster attractions. The monument stands at the highest point of the city and clashes with the rest of Montauban as its facade is made from white stone instead of red brick. For a lot of the 16th century and up to 1629 Montauban had been Protestant. Number 9. Complex Aquatique. Opened in 2013, Montauban's aquatic center is much more than just a municipal pool. It's the third largest aquatic complex in France and is as much for tourists as it is for locals. There are six indoor and outdoor pools, a hammam, saunas, a state-of-the-art gym and a balcony area where you can unwind. Number 10. Eglise Saint. Along with the Pont View this church is the only vestige of medieval times in Montauban. The oldest part of the church is also the most spectacular. The octagonal bell tower dates right back to the 1200s and is on top of a slightly newer base with machicolations. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.